Uh, certainly brought the big news and a big trade. Wow. How about this? I mean, wow. from mid-August, we don't, this is very uncommon, but here we are, Montreal acquiring Patrick Laine and a second round pick in 2026 in exchange for defenseman Jordan Harris, who is now a member of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Montreal general manager Kent Hughes had this to say about that move. To me, this isn't a transaction that either he scores 40 or 50 or it's a bust, far from it. You know, my relay to him was if you come here ready to be, to contribute to this team, to do everything in your power to help us get to a place. And if that's the opportunity that you're looking for, then, you know, say no more. That That's what I want to hear from you. Whether you score 20 goals or 40 goals, you know, your success here is not going to be defined strictly by goals. It's going to be defined by your ability to help contribute to this team and help us. We're very young. We also spoke to him about Montreal and, and the pressure that comes with this market. And uh, as I said, he, he didn't shy away from it at all. In fact, I think he is looking for for this type of a market to come play in. All right, lack mm. of Windex might be a problem for Kent Hughes. <laughs> lack of talent, Paul not an issue in getting uh, Patrick Line. All the talent in the world. How do you think he fits into the market in Montreal? It's fascinating trade. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fascinating. First, kudos to Kent Hughes. This is a really good trade. Yeah. I mean, Jordan Harris is a good player, but you get a second round pick. Yep. Harris was a third rounder. And you get Line A. Yeah. Now, part of that is because you take on Line A's full salary and all that that entails, but they have the salary cap flexibility. So you weaponize that and you go take a chance on a guy who's one of the most talented goal scorers in the league. And yes, he hasn't found the right fit, hasn't been in the right place mentally, physically to, to be at his very best. But when he is, he is an elite, elite goal scorer. What does Montreal need? Goal scoring, especially from the wing. So it's a perfect fit. Also, people talk about, well, it's Montreal, it's pressure. How is he going to deal with that? Well, guess what? Montreal, having played there, they have a certain affection for highly talented, skillful players who may be a little bit mercurial. I played with Alex Kovalev there. They love Kovi, who at times was not at, always at his very best, but they love the skill that he had and the way he could play with the flair and a style that Line A can bring to the Montreal Canadiens as well. So I think the Canadian fans will really embrace Patrick Line, and he will really embrace living and playing for a team that that's passionate about their game. So I'm... I'm Delighted for him that he got out of Columbus into Montreal, a place that it's going to be great to watch him go and try to be successful. And he fills a massive void, a massive need for the Montreal Canadiens. Where does this now put Montreal in that rebuild? Well, they're they're transitioning out of the rebuild stage. They're into the we're playing. Like, yeah. we, we can't be a 72 point team. Meaningful games, meaningful games, spring. pushing around yeah. the playoff numbers. Whether they get to 92, 93, 94 points in that division, you might need that. Mm -hmm. But they can't be at below 80. They're, they're going to have to be playing those meaningful games. The question mark becomes, you know, the goaltending. So you know, Sam Montebo and Caden Primo hold up that, the, the entire season. But they've addressed, they had, a, they had a surplus of defensemen. And so they traded a good one in Jordan Harris away. But they have other ones coming, including uh, Lane Hudson. It's going to be fantastic yes. to watch him go with the Montreal Canadiens. But they didn't have enough finishers up front. And now you can think about Suzuki Caulfield. Kirby Doc. Oh, yeah, remember him. He yeah, plays for Montreal, right. back and healthy, mm -hmm. and Patrick Liney. Two, four cornerstone pieces of your top two lines that can get things going, plus the prospects that are coming up. So um, they're a much different-looking team, and I expect them, and they would expect themselves to be pushing for near a playoff spot next year. Expectations for Patrick Line, first season in Montreal. Where, where's the bar set for you? <sighs> so what's a good year? 30 goals. I mean, feels like you can do that in his sleep if he's healthy, if he's healthy in the right place. But, but I think that's it, yeah. healthy and in the right place, because he is so talented. Most players, 30 goals would be a career season, but for him, and, and he heard Kent Hughes trying to deflect some of the pressure to score a number of goals. It's like, just play well and help us. And But if Patrick Lani's playing well and helping you, that means he is scoring goals. So I think uh, the problem will be, think about the Montreal Canadiens, the four guys I just mentioned in their top six that are their best players, they're all right-handed shots which is unusual in the yeah. NHL. So the power play configuration, which is where Patrick Liney is going, him and Cole Caulfield, like, the, the, they, they shoot right, they shoot the same. They're different-looking kind of players, but they both occupy similar spots on the ice. So that'll be something to work through, which may impact his production. But I think 30 goals, 60 points, 75-plus games, smile on his face, having fun, showing the world how great of a goal scorer he is. That will be a good year. I like it. We have a smile on our face. Mm -hmm. Big Monday trade here on NHL Network.